Okay, good morning. So this is um, the recorded audio discussion for Jack 9 Lecture 22 entitled Results Last 25 Hours. So this is a um, the continuation with the last recorded discussion. Um, this lecture will revolve around the last day in Irizal na buhay pa siya. So, this starts with the releasing, di ba? The last, um, the last part of um, the last discussion is the releasing of the verdict na guilty nga si Rizal and hinatulan siya ng kamatayan by far, um, firing squad. So, here, um, before tayo magsimula, I'll, I just want to tawag nito, erase to na fact that in writing history, in writing about an event, whether it's an essay, a story, or just a narrative about a specific ev event, my different perspective talaga. Um, two persons writing about one event will have different works. Why? Not just the wordings, but also how they depict and ito pa as historians um in writing events they have resources diba they have their sources they have this data documents sangaling diba we know that um because in our subjects or past subjects in history talagang edine discuss yan sources diba of historical data so it is also the life of Rizal, the writings about the life of Rizal, the biographies, the books written, uh, written about the life of Rizal is based on sources. So, um, events, descriptions may vary depende kung sino yung nagsulat. So, here in the last tw uh, 25 hours ni Rizal, um, accounts vary and largely depend on the historian and the one who is reading it so he, um, while you are um, listening in this discussion put it in mind that kung ano yung discuss sa lecture notes na ito kung ano yung discuss ko might be different sa ibang sources and ibang books in your Moodle, na Jack 9 classroom, the lecture 22 has a resource which is entitled um, The Last 25 Hours, no result written by um, Ambet Ocampo. So, it is the depiction, an essay, the essay written by Ocampo about the last 25 hours. So, you can use that to compare and to see. Kung ano ba yung mga sinasabing kaibahan. An example of the mga kaibahan. So, um, but in this discussion, we will um, majorly rely on the workbook, which is a Chad Curriculum Compliant. Is the life and works of Rizal biography writings and legacies of Arbayani by Jensen D. G. Maniebog and published by Mutya Publishing House. So, okay, so let's start again. The accounts about the last 25 hours of Rizal vary and largely depend on the historian or the biographer who is who has right, uh, written it. And what happened in Rizal's life from 6 a.m. of December 29, the day before his execution, until his execution was perhaps the most controversial in his biography. You will see, as we discuss further in this lecture, bakit um, matatawag siya na controversial. So, um, um, two of the main reasons bakit that's the supposed retraction, Rizal retraction. It is a document supposedly written by Rizal retracting or iahanggi bawi 
ang tanan niyang gisulat or gistorya against the church. So, kaya siya tinawag na retraction dahil um, nibalik siya, niretract siya sa iya mga gipang storya. Supposedly, it is a document gisulat niya para mapatawad siya sa church and dawaton daw siya sa Gino in the in his second life. So, um, but this retraction document will be discussed in the following lecture. Lecture 23 is solely, um, your purpose lang in lecture 23 is to discuss about the retraction. So, so much for the, the retraction. So, second na reason, bakit tinatawag na most controversial on the biography of Rizal is because during the last 25 hours ni Rizal nangyari ang, kani, ang marriage ni Rizal and ni Josephine Bracken, the Catholic marriage ni Rizal and Josephine Bracken. And it is, this marriage is also connected with the retraction document. Still, Okay, these two, the retraction and the marriage, supposedly occurred within the this time frame, meaning the last 25 hours. So, okay, standard biography nonetheless states that at 6 a.m. of December 29, Judge Advocate Dominguez formally read the death sentence to Rizal. Advocate. Judge Advocate Dominguez formally read the death sentence. That's at 6 a.m. At about 7 a.m., he was transferred to either his death cell or the prison chapel. He was visited by Jesuit priest Miguel Sadera Mata and Luis Veza. So they brought the medal of Ateneo's Marian Congregation of which Rizal was a member, and the wooden statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus he had carved in the school. Rizal put the wooden image on his table while he rejected the medal, saying, I'm little of a Marian father. Next is, at 8 a.m., the priest Antonio Rosell arrived after his co-priest Vesa left. So Rizal shared his breakfast. Again, that's on 8 a.m. na maho si Rizal with Father Russell. So, okay. Later, Lieutenant Andrade, yung naging defense lawyer ni Rizal, Lieutenant Andrade came and Rizal thanked his defense lawyer. Also, Santiago Mat Mataex, the Spanish, uh, of the Spanish newspaper El Geraldo de Madrid. So, this is a publication from Sp Spain. Um, Gibuhat ni Santiago Mataex is to ask for a personal interview kay Rizal. So, then came Federico Faura at about 10 a.m. So, from 6, 7, then 8, then Interview nangyari 9, 10 a.m. Dumating si Federico Faura. And what did Faura say to Rizal? Um, he advised Rizal to forget about his resentment. About what resentment man? Resentment sa church. Resentment about the priests. Resentment about the Spanish government. And before dapat siya mamatay, he must think about his family daw, labaw na pud si Josephine Bracken, which, um, kung huna huna ni mo is, kina, ang si tawag ani, masakitan daw og ayo, jud, sa nagapang hitabo o sa mahitabo na kamatayo ni Rizal. So, Farah advised Rizal to marry Josephine canonically, meaning Christian or church wedding. So, Next, the two had hit a discussion about religion as witnessed by Rizal. So, after advising Rizal, they continued their talk with religious matters. So, two other priests, Jose Villa Clara and uh, Vicente Valiguer, visited Rizal at about 11 a.m. And here, important take any silang duha because they are um, the ones who supposedly nag push kay Rizal 
na musulat sa retraction. Okay. Again, the two other priests, Jose Villacara and uh, Vicente Valigir, the Jesuits tried to convince Rizal to write a retraction. So, um, uban na biograph, um, biography says na from this word, oh, tried to convince. But some biographies would say na the Jesuits um, convinced, diba? convinced Rizal to write the retraction. So, depende sa biographer ko ito ba siya na ang retraction or wala. Then, those still believing in the Holy Scriptures, Rizal supposedly refused. This is, again, according to Maniebog, the writer of the workbook na which ginagamit natin. And then, Rizal supposedly refused to retract his anti-Catholic views, exclaiming, Look, fathers, if I should assent to all you say and sign all you want me to, just to please you, neither believing nor feeling, I would be a hypocrite and would then be offending God. Okay, so this is Rizal standing on what he believes is right. So, you may form your own na tawag ani kanang pahuna-huna about unsa ka tinood ang retraction. So, so much for that. That's on 11 a.m. Next, 12 noon, Rizal was left alone in his cell. He had his lunch, read the Bible, and meditated. About this time, Baligir reported to the Archbishop that only a little hope remained that Rizal would retract. Refusing to receive visitors for the meantime, Rizal probably finished his last poem. Um, this is this refers to the Mi Ultimo Adios, yung poem na for the Philippines and for his family, which inilagay niya sa isang lamp and ibinigay niya sa kanyang kapatid na si Trinidad, which Trinidad is accompanying um, Rizal's mother in visiting Rizal later that day. So, Rizal also wrote to, Blim to Blooming Treat, Blooming Treat, one of the dear friends was one of the most dear friends ni Rizal. His last letter in which he called the Austrian scholar my best and dearest friend. Okay, he then had a talk with the priest Istan Islao March and Villa Clara at about 2 p.m. Valiger then returned to Rizal's cell at 3.30 p.m. and allegedly discussed again about Rizal's retraction. That's according to Zaide. Zaide, again, is another Napudna historian. Rizal then wrote letters and dedications and rested for a short time. So, for a <laughs> short while. Okay. At 4 p.m., the sorrowful Doña Chudora and Jose's sisters came to see the sentence Rizal. The mother was not allowed a last embrace by the guard, though her beloved son, in quite grief, managed to press a kiss on her hand. So Dominguez is said to have been moved. Okay. I think this is not supposedly here. Okay. Okay, so... Nipig visit ni Doña Chodora and uh, ni uh, sister si Rizal, si Rizal. And okay, as the dear visitors were leaving, Jose handed over to Trinidad an alcohol cooking stove or alcohol lamp, a gift from the uh, from the Pardo de Taveras, whispering to her ear in a language which the guards could not comprehend. There is something in it. That something was Rizal's allergy known as Mi Ultimo Adios. Okay. So, the Dean of the Manila Cathedral, Don Silvino Lopez Tonyon, came to exchange some views with Rizal at about 5.30 p.m. Baliguer, um, Baliguer and March then left later and leaving Villa Clara and Tonyon in... Union in Rizal's cell. So, as Rizal was leaving at about 6 p.m., Josephine Bracken arrived at Port Santiago, 
where Rizal was in prison, that's in Fort Santiago. Rizal called for her and they emotionally talked to each other. And at 5 p.m., Faura returned and convinced Rizal to trust him and other Ateneo professors. After some quiet moments, Rizal purportedly or said to have confessed to Faura. Okay, so outside from the last confession ni Rizal, um, um, the dawn before siya pusilon, it is said na nag-confess na daw siya daan kay um, Padre Faura. So, Rizal then took his last supper at about 8 p.m. and attended to his personal needs. He then told Dominguez that he had forgiven his enemies and the military judges who had sentenced him, uh, him to death. At about 9 or 9.30 p.m., Manila's Royal Audencia Fiscal, Don Gaspar Sin Sin um, Sistanio, came and had an amiable talk with Rizal. Histor uh, historian Gregorio F. Saide said that at 10 p.m. Rizal and some Catholic priests worked in the hero's retraction. So remember, huh? um, Saide is one of the historians which says that you know, or, or, uh, which supports yun nga, yung hero's retraction. Supposedly, Balaguer brought uh, to Rizal a retraction draft made by the Archbishop Bernardo Bernardino Nazaleda, but Rizal did not like it for very long. And then, again, according to Saide, at 10 p.m., Rizal had supposedly daw di pabasa na siya sa retraction na ang katong document na gi draft Archbishop Bernardino and but Rizal did not like the first draft so draft so gusto niya pa usab so um, a shorter retraction made by the district um, PUP was then offered to Rizal which he allegedly liked so it is said that he wrote his retraction renouncing Freemasonry and the Catholic ideas uh, Zayde nonetheless admitted that he uh, that the supposed retraction is now a very controversial document. For many reasons, Rizal assumed retraction and his supposed church marriage with Bracken have been considered highly dubious by many Rizal scholars. Okay, so, ma'am, what's the connection sa retraction o sa marriage ni Rizal? Again, ang retraction is a document which supposedly a way for the church and for God to forgive Rizal daw sa lahat ng mga sinabi niya, sa lahat ng mga ginawa niya, and whatever man iyahang actions against the church. It is like saying na si Rizal kina guilty do ug ayo and mahadlok daw siya sa kung unsa ang may tabo sa iya kung matay na siya. Itong dating hindi pang sulat. So, na, na convince daw siya nilang Balgir ni Villa, Villa Clara na mag-retract mag and siyempre, Kung tinood ni kanina retraction, meaning, na nga yung pasaylo si Rizal sa church, and then napasaylo siya sa church. And kung si connection na niya sa supposed na kasal nila ni Josephine Bracken, remember na wala sila nakapakasal in the pitan because the church is against Rizal. So, kung napatawad na siya, or nangait na siya o kanang kapatawaran sa church, syempre, pasayloon siya, and then as a sign daw sa forgiveness, they legalized the or ilaha nang gi sa tawag ni gi acknowledge ang kasal ni Rizal og ni Josephine Bracken so continued si retraction tinuod ang kasal nilang Rizal or kung kuan pa continued si retraction valid ilahang kasal but after namatay si Rizal, syempre, the church declared that the retraction is real. But, directly after namatay si Rizal, nobody actually se uh, had seen the retraction document outside from the supposedly na draft which the Archbishop, di ba? Si Bernardino. Ang first katong longer na retraction document, di ba? Siya ang nasulat. But si PUP, ang katong gi draft ni PUP ang gigamit ni Rizal. But, ang katong 
gisulat daw ni Rizal na document kay si Archbishop Nazaleda daw ang nagkit. So, outside from Rizal, Baligir, PUP, Bernardino Nazaleda, and maybe Villa Clara, outside sa ilaha, wala nila ay nakakita sa original na copy. Sa retraction ni Rizal. Ma, say, kalahian sa draft o sa gisulat ni Rizal. Ang nahitabok mong God, ang katun na draft kay gi Chitawag ani? Di... Kaya na bitawang... Um, Gidictate kay Rizal. And Rizal wrote the restriction with his own writing. Okay, so... Again, Rizal's assumed retraction and his supposed church marriage with Bracken have been considered highly dubious or doubtful by many Rizal scholars and labaw na sa mga supporter ni Rizal Jodili, Jodaw na siya tinuod. And the issue with the Rizal's retraction is still alive hangtod karon. It is one of the many, many topics of heat, uh, heated debates with um, historians and scholars here in the Philippines. And na na siya na doubtful yun siya po na siya kung naabag yun, kung tinuod bag yun or dili. Okay, so much for that. Rizal then spent the night resting until the crack of dawn of December 30. December 30. Perhaps praying and meditating once in a while. Zaide, however, alleged that at 3 a.m. Rizal heard, um, heard or attended a mass and confessed his sins and took communion. Okay, at about 4 a.m., again, that's according to Zaide, ha? Huh? At 4 a.m., he picked up the book Imitation of Christ by Thomas Kempis, read and meditated. And later, ang kanina, Imitation of Christ kay Hatag daw niya, supposedly kay, kay Josephine Bracken with the notes sa sulod. Again, maot daw niya, supposedly na libro. Ang kanina yung gibasa din, maot niya yung hatag last memento daw niya kay Josephine Bracken. So, at 5 a.m., he washed up, attended to his personal needs, beauty care regimen. But, okay, that's when 5 a.m., he then read the Bible Dao and contemplated about this and that, about his situation and whatever, manhap, mahitabo, or whatever, magkusayin gyunahuna, but nagunahuna daw siya. Okay, for breakfast, he was given three boiled eggs, looping pa mega diet. That's for breakfast, but that's the last daw na meal ni Rizal. Um, there, about ani na tulog ka itlog, no? Um, some biographers said na tulog ka itlog na ay nag na soft-boiled, na ay uba na hard-boiled, na ay nag na gikaon daw tutanan ni Rizal ang, tu ang tulo na ay gaingon na duhara yung gikaon na ay gaingon po na wala daw siya yung gikaon. So, okay, um, Rizal's grand niece, Asuncion Lopez Rizal, Bantug mentioned, uh, this grand niece, Asuncion Lopez Rizal, is one also of uh, the biographers which had written a book about the life of Rizal. And, she is directly a descendant of the Rizal family. Um, she mentioned three soft-boiled eggs and narrated that Rizal ate two of them and gave one or gave, um, hindi man as in gave, but gibutang na daw niya sa corner sa iyahang cell ang isa. Tayo, niingon daw siya na this is for the rats and let them celebrate otherwise. otherwise likewise. So, also, um, na po ibang historian, nabaw na si Ambet Ocampo, on the other hand, wrote three hard-boiled eggs and related that result did not, again, did not have any breakfast. Ang katong tulog yun daw, ang iyahang gibutang dito sa kilid para si tawag ane, kanon sa mga ilaga. And this words, this is for the rats. Let them celebrate likewise. Supposedly, daw, supposedly daw may deeper na meaning. It is like nagpadungog daw sa Spanish officials na you are just like rats. Na akong kamatayon is ikalipay ninyo. 
Okay, afterwards, Rizal wrote letters, one addressed to his family and other to Pashano. To his family, he partly wrote, I ask you for forgiveness for the pain I cause you. I die resigned, hoping that with my death, you will be left in peace. Okay, he also left this message to his sisters. I enjoin you to forgive one another. Treat your old parents as you would like to be treated by your children later. Love them very much in my memory. Then to Pasano, the Dakilang Kuya, the Superman sa life ni Rizal. I am thinking now how hard you have worked to give me a career. I know that you have suffered much on my account and I am very sorry. And makita ajud po ninyo na after namatay si Rizal, Pashano and Rizal are very, very close because again, um, ato ni siya nahisgutan sa um, earlier na mga lectures about the family of Rizal that Pashano became a war general or a big na part of the KKK after na namatay si Rizal. Okay. Though some accounts state that Bracken was forbidden from seeing Rizal on this fateful day, Zaide, here Zaide, wrote that at 5.30 a.m., she and Rizal's sister Josefa came and visited Rizal. The couple was said to have embraced for the last time and Rizal gave to Josephine the imitation of Christ. Again, as I said kanina, the one uh, last mento daw niya. And... He wrote the dedication to my dear and unhappy wife, Josephine, December 30. So, um, on your lecture notes about the love interest of Rizal, this is discussed to my dear and unhappy wife. Bakit tinawag niya na to my dear and but unhappy wife, Josephine Bracken. So, you can go back to that lecture notes if you want. Okay, before Rizal made his death march on Bagumbayan, he managed to pen his last letters to his beloved parents, to Don Francisco, he wrote, Pardon me for the pain which I repay you. Goodbye, Father, goodbye. Though so, perhaps told by the authorities that the march was about to begin, Rizal managed to write only the following to his mother. To my dear mother, Senora Doña Chodora Alonso, 6 o'clock in the morning, December 30, 1896. Sorry, Rizal. Yun lang. Wala siya naisulat. But, um, his mother is part of yung sa Muti Mo Adios na. Okay. So, at 6.30 a.m., Rizal in black suit and black bowler hat. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Black suit and black bowler hat. Tied elbow to elbow. Begun his slow march to Bagumbayan. He walked along with his defense lawyer, Andrade, and two just with free, uh, priests that that's March and uh, Villacara. In front of them were the advance guard of armed soldiers and behind them were another group of military men. The sound of the trumpet signaled the start of the death march and muffled sound of drums served as the musical score of the walk. So, nasa background music at ang galakaw siya yung siyempre suhan hangtod sa bagong bayan which is... Um, while we know, uh, while we are uh, known as Luneta Park, uh, okay, early in the morning, plenty of people had eagerly lined the streets. Some were sympathetic to him, others, especially the Spaniards, wanted, wanted nothing less than to see him die. Some observed that Rizal kept kindly looking around, and it was believed that his family or the Katiponeros would make a last minute effort to spring him from trap, from the trap. Um, it is said again na maudang sige siya glantaw-lantaw sa kilid-kilid kay naaday plano ni ha family yung mga katipon na isave si Rizal but but it was not proven because wala man siya na save no namatay man Japan siya but also some said na naaday plano but Rizal refused because again para sa iyaha this is my last um star one fight um, for the Filipino star once in a while, Rizal conversed with the priest, commenting on things like his happy years in Ateneo as they passed the Intramuros, also commenting on the clear morning he was said to have uttered something like, What a beautiful morning on days uh, like this. I used to talk, I had to take a walk. 
here with my sweetheart. O, diba? Tabian kay mong lolo girl before siya matay. You have to nagkuhan siya storytelling. Or, pwede po na naalang good siya jitters or nervous ng good siya or ang saba para lang makalma yung huna-huna or kalma ba good siya or wala lang siya mabuhat. So, I don't know. But, he made small talk with the guards and kato yung mga company ito naglakaw siya. So, next, after some minutes, they arrived at the historic venue of execution. Filipino soldiers were deliberately cho- chosen to compose the firing squad. Diba? Grabe ka harsh and uh, grabe ka insulto. No? Filipino soldiers were deliberately chosen to compose the firing squad. Meaning, ko Filipinos rapod ni Rizal ang nipusil sa iyaha. It is like a symbol an action which symbolizes the, the control of the Spanish government to the Filipinos as a, as a whole na hindi daw nag-matter actually ang mga isinulat ni Rizal. So, whatever, that's again. Okay. Behind them stood their Spanish counterparts ready to execute them if dili nila po si Lund. So, Yud kayo, no? Again, it is a symbol daw of the control of the Spanish government. Kung dilim na po sila si Rizal, sila po si Lon. So, there was such a glitch in the proceedings as Rizal refused to kneel and decline the traditional bra- blindfold. I mean, wala siya ni sugot na tapiringan siya. Maintaining that he was not a traitor to his country and to Spain, he even request, uh, requested to face the firing squad. So, in this book, dili di ay tinuod na naa siya ay piring at hindi patay siya. Again, that's according to the book. That's according to this book. Di ba, kumakitaan po na to, di ba, na mga videos na which nadidepek si Rizal daw kay nakapiring and then pag kuha niya pag nini niya, di ba kay, posil siya, di ba na supposedly nagtalikod siya, pero before siya natumba kay ni, tuyok daw siya, and nilingi siya kung aha, ang sun. And he said, consumatum est, it is done. But, um, so much for that, or before tamatudan ha, and then, wala daw siya piring, and katong mga videos na nagpiring siya, sayop to sila guys. Okay, so, he even, he even requested to face the firing squad, but he was declined. After some sweet talk, Rizal agreed to turn his back to the firing squad, but requested that he be shot not in the head, but in the small of um, his back instead. When agreement had been reached, Rizal thankfully shook the hand of his defense lawyer, Andrade, the military physician, then asked permission to feel the pulse of the man who had only a few minutes to live, and the doctor was startled to find out it was normal. So, meaning, si Rizal daw, kay, wala daw siya nakulbaan. Yung heart rate kay, okay lang, chill na daw siya. Wag, wala siya, wala lang. It's supposedly daw, this, the normal na pulse rate daw ni Rizal, kay, nag-show daw, na Rizal really is not guilty. Because, wala man siya nag-goal, wala siya nakulbaan, wala siya, wala. So, it is also po, pwede po daw, Gerisign nilang daw ni Rizal yang self sa fit of them. But, okay. Next, before leaving Rizal in his appointed place, the priest offered him a crucifix to kiss, but he turned his head away and silently prefer, prepared for his death. That's according to Ambit Ocampo. Again, yung um, version ni Ambit Ocampo is included in your resources in your home model, so you can go and read that. The next, when the command had been given, the executioner's gun, the execu- uh, executioner's guns barked at once. Rizal yelled Christ's two last words: "Consumate est." That's it is finished. Simultaneously with his final effort to twist his bullet pierced body halfway around. Okay. Then, facing the sky, Jose Rizal fell on the ground, dead at exactly 7.03 in the morning of December 30, 1896. So, then, after that, Rizal is known to become the greatest martyrs of the Philippine Independence 
na history. So, okay, again, your questions may be uh, about this discussion may be addressed on our Facebook group, ch group chat or can be uh, sent to me pers in personal message in the Boodle na site. Okay, that's for lecture 22. And uh, please await the lecture 23. Thank you for listening.